I highly encourage you to be honest in stating your height because there's some women who really don't care about height. Those women will want to meet you and be attracted to you for you. But a woman who likes a man that she can put on her highest heels and still look up to is not going to be interested in a guy that she can't do that with. And that's just a fact. And trying to change that fact is not helpful. As a relationship coach, I coach an awful lot of clients who really don't care about how tall a guy is. Height's not that important. But I equally coach a lot of clients who say, yeah, he needs to be tall, like really tall. I really want him to be tall. And if you are not a tall guy, you need to respect that. And most importantly, you absolutely do not want somebody who doesn't want you. Putting a false height out there isn't going to change who you are. And if someone's very specifically attracted to somebody who's of a specific height, that's what they're attracted to. I mean, do you have any kind of thing? A lot of guys are very attracted to women who are very thin or that have really big breasts or really big butts or whatever it is that your thing is. Could you change that? If you prefer not to say your exact height, join Donna Barnes Dating. We only ask for an age range, so you don't have to lie. One of my favorite clients who came to me for coaching was five foot four, and he'd never ever had sex with a woman that he hadn't had paid to have sex with. And he came to me because he was convinced that it was because of his height that he couldn't get laid. And to make a very long story short, I spent time coaching him on his thoughts and his thinking. And it was only his thinking that was preventing him from getting girl. And he actually got this really tall girl and he was so excited. And he said to me, I would have never had the confidence to think that I could get her. So you are what you think you are. So if you have an issue with your height, stop thinking that that's the reason that you're not getting women. It's not. Your thinking about it is what's preventing you from getting women. So be very confident in who you are. Accentuate your positive traits and know you have positive traits. And do not for a second think that there's anything about you that is preventing you from getting a date except your thinking. You are what you think you are. So if you think that you're tall, then you're tall. If you don't, then you're not. I mean, I know that sounds really stupid, but it's kind of that same basis. Your height is not what's preventing you from getting dates. So be proud of your height, be honest about your height, and have the confidence to own it. Psychologically, you're frequently attracted to in others what you feel deficit in yourself. Many times, someone who's really not good at putting themselves out there is is attracted to somebody who is. And, and all sorts of different things where opposites attract because you really wish that you could do that or have that. So you find it very attractive in someone else. And that's exactly what it is for height, at least for me. I mean, at five foot six, I was a teenage model who constantly got rejected being told, you're too short, you're too short, constantly. It was the bane of my existence. It was so frustrating. I just, I find it so sexy if I don't have to, you know, if my boyfriend doesn't have to climb on the counter to reach the top shelf to get what I'm trying to get, that turns me on. I think I'm speaking for an awful lot of women that do have an issue with height that, look, you just can't change that. And you can be the most fabulous, wonderful guy in the world. It doesn't make me attracted to you. And it doesn't make women who want tall men attracted to you. Women want to feel petite and small and feminine. And for a lot of women, a big guy makes them feel small. The very first time I ever tried online dating, you know, back a decade ago, the first guy that I looked at his profile and he said he was six feet tall and I went to go meet him in person and he was sitting down when I arrived. And as soon as I got there, he looked at me and he jumped up off the bar stool. And the first thing he said to me was, oh, how tall are you? And I said, five, six, which is what I said in my profile. And he went, uh, uh, okay, I, I guess I'm still taller than you. And it was really clear to me that he was not six feet tall. And I'd worn, he said he was six feet tall. I wore my four inch heels. So now I was 5'10". And I think he was probably 5'10". So my point is, it was a huge turnoff to me that his first piece of conversation was about height. Clearly he had an issue with it. So I don't understand why he lied about his height. If you have an issue with your height, 
be honest about what it is because you want someone to want you for you. Please be honest about your height because if someone shows up to meet you and you're immediately not what you said in your profile, they're annoyed that you wasted their time and they're probably not going to be turned on by you. You can't usually win them over. So just be honest. And I promise you, the person that's going to find you irresistible and completely attractive is going to find you attractive at the height that you actually are. So have confidence in that. Boost your self-esteem by proudly owning your height and being confident about it when you put yourself out there to meet people who will accept you for exactly who you are.